Creatures, just a quick little reading to pop in, see how your day is going. Please get a card for the viewer, please. Any advice you want to give them for your day? These readings are timeless, of course. Whenever you find it, you're going to find it. There should be a message for you. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. But of course, maybe you'll learn something. Come back another day, try another video. You get it. Something tells me this isn't your first video. But we have the sleeper, cause and effect, clarity. It's like their third eye is closed and it's about to be opened. That's what I'm picking up. On the back of the deck is the astronomer. Yeah, discover or you're, Yeah, you're sleeping right now on something. Sleeping on an opportunity. What are you sleeping on? Let's go with this deck. What are you sleeping on? That. Oh, that's so funny. So it's like the third eye is closed in this card and in this one it's opening. So it's like you're about to get a message. Something's gonna wake you up from this slumber. Give you the clarity that you've been, ooh, thank you, that you've been craving. We've got new beginnings that flew out here. We also have fertility. And of course, like take this how it resonates. It doesn't necessarily have to mean pregnancy unless that's something that you're hoping for, you're wanting. But um, I, I feel like, again, of dreams, of opportunities, of new creations. Um, but I definitely feel like, if I can, maybe it was a matter of divine timing or something, but like there's been opportunities that almost, I don't know if they passed you by, they've like circled around you a couple times because it's like you just were missing a key piece. Again, your eye was closed, you kept missing it, but now it's open, service. I feel good when I can help others and I hope everyone feels good when they can help others. I know I, um, uh, I love being of service to people. I know that is like maybe rare to find these days, but that brings me true happiness. And I feel like one day I'll be incredibly abundant only like solely so I can do that and help more people feel safe, secure, and loved, I guess. Anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about your cards. <laughs> we have the queen of wands that just fell out. So yeah, something you're passionate about. You're very confident in what you are. Like, if this was something that you were ever, like, feeling like you didn't know enough before, you're, like, coming into this energy of, you're like, yeah, I, I, I understand my role, my place now. I am confident, confident and comfortable with what I know about this subject that I'm speaking in. Sorry, our card just flipped in the middle of the deck. Where'd you go? Um... But yeah, you're like very attractive because of how sure you are in something now. Oh, maybe it flipped back over. But, oh, nope, there it is, sorry. Having a moment, temperance, beautiful. Yeah, like there was a period of waiting. You're sleeping, right? You're healing. And now that you think, like whatever, let's look, maybe pull a card in that in a second. But whatever it was that woke you up, it's because you're, it, it's divine timing. Like the time is now. Um, you've done the healing, you've done the patience, you've done the learning, you're confident in whatever it is that you're doing now. Is there any other cards here for this message from this deck? Thank you, okay. That's fine. No, I wanna use the Halloween deck, I think. Um, what is it that woke you up? Was it divine timing? Ace of pumpkin, six of back. Yeah, it was just divine timing. It was time to move forward. Like aces are gifts from the universe, right? So it was, it was just time to move forward. Right? Time to whatever it is that your new beginning, that fertile new creation that like you have within you that you're bringing to the world, it's just time for it now. Seven of pumpkin. The seeds have been planted, but it's time to like really nourish, right? And it's so funny because I watched a video like maybe two days ago about how like if you're ever feeling like stuck or like things are working against you in your life like pause and ask yourself what phase of your life you're in we're in three phases at all times the planting phase the nourishing phase and the harvesting phase and if you're trying to do like the other two in the wrong phase it it just ends in disaster so if right now you've planted the seeds so now it's time to nourish right uh, or continue planting the seeds and then next nourish your crops and then we harvest right so and then we it, it's a, a spiral but you whatever it was before i feel like emotionally got you 
really up in your head. Um, perhaps it was like you were, like, I feel like something it, about like your reputation, like how, what people thought of you um, was holding you back before. Yeah, it was making it like you were worried that, and the Empress, oh, that's so funny. It, you are, It was like you were worried about like what other people were gonna say, whatever this new beginning was, the service of others. It was like you were almost like self-conscious that like somebody was gonna have an opinion about it, but like you're the empress, baby. Like, don't even worry about that. You don't chase, you attract. If they're not interested in that, they can move on and find something else they're interested in because there are plenty like it's not you it's like lions do not lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. That's the energy we're in now. And I feel like if that's not something you're in like right now it's coming the two of ends so that's the two of wands yeah it's like it's like you've done the planning you put the time in and you're done fighting like this is like to me like inside your head you're fighting and that's like your higher self being like okay it's enough now we whatever it was before that was holding you back is no longer holding you back it's really beautiful so any more messages from this deck please hear it thank you the seven of bats the seven of swords yeah there's like you're almost deceiving yourself with how successful you have been in the past. Um, whatever's happening is for your highest good. It's going to be really beautiful. So I hope that that resonates. That makes sense. And let me get some, I'm just going to take this deck here. Let's get some advice on how the viewer can move forward with this new energy. This now that the divine timing is here, how can they play their part and meet me halfway here? Is there any other types? Okay, so we have the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Yeah, so um, it, you just be open to receiving, open for collabor collaborations or opportunities that the sphere is going to put in front of you. Um, you know, we can do everything, but we can't, or like we can do anything, but we can't do everything, right? So like there may be things that you need help with. And the queen of pentacles is like an incredibly collaborative energy. She is so loved um, and supported by like her people, right? Like she built her kingdom with her kingdom, so her hands are calloused as well. It's like building something from the ground up with, with other people. Um, and then I have here the six of wands that came out. So again, this is going to be really successful, whatever it is that you're working on. Cheers to your success. I love your guts and gross bits. Bye.